Hey guys, what is going on? I'm back with another video. A back-to-back -back upload. What? Pull up in the Sri Lanka. Are you a Nikki fan? What? Am I a Nikki fan? <laughs> Pull up in the Sri Lanka. What? Y'all want Anyway, um, I told you guys yesterday's video, if something came, I would have definitely reviewed it early. Um, it was actually supposed to come yesterday, but it got held up in Paris. And this is the new, oh no, I can't even, guys, I can't even put this up for you. This is the new Anastasia lip pencils and lipsticks. This is probably one of the biggest launches, well, so far of 2022. I've been really excited for, so guys, we need to swatch these, we need to talk about them. We need to know what's going on. So if you guys wanna know all about the ABH, Lipsticks and liners, keep on watching. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I did my makeup yet, and for some reason it looked so mad. Um, it just looked crazy. I tried a new powder, but actually the powder is really, really banging. I don't wanna say what it is yet, it's nothing new, but I'm I've had like, not a tiff with the brand, but I'm not sure if I can really, I just don't like when a brand isn't inclusive, but the powder's doing what it's supposed to do. And I actually just got it. And it's just, if, if I'm gonna continue to use it this week, and if it's giving what it's giving, I'll let you know what it is, you know, maybe next week or something. Anyway, so Anastasia launched, let me just read this out. So Anastasia launched 18 full pigment lip liners, which are $18. And she launched 18 matte and satin lipsticks, which are $23. These are launched today. This is what it looks like on trend mood. Like, a oh, guys, you guys know, lips are my favorite category, period. I'm gonna insert a video in here now. So I literally just unpacked these liners over here. We have the colors, obviously I'm gonna insert this in the YouTube video. And we have the colors which I probably wouldn't wear, but this section here, gorgeous, gorgeous girls, wear nudes. And here are all the lipsticks. These are freshly out of the PR. Guys, I cannot wait to actually show you these. Mm. And this is basically of what I received. I received the full collection, I received the full lipsticks, but you guys know, I normally draw to nudes. Like, it's just nudes. Like, if it's, it's, it's just a nude moment, do you know what I mean? So, um, I've already got the liners and nudes that I think are, you know, gonna look good on my skin tone, but if you guys want me to, mm, I probably wouldn't swatch all the liners because I just know that it's gonna be a waste and I'd rather give them to friends or family that are obviously gonna like them more, way better. But if you want to swatch some of the darker like lips colors, let me know. But let's just get into it, child. So can we just take a moment for the, it's the lip, it's the, these colors and lip liners just do something to my heartstrings. First of all, brands, when they bring out lips, they always go pinky. There's always one brown liner. It's just, it's just not giving what it's supposed to give. We want nudes, we want, we want browns. So here we have chai, malt, deep talk, cool brown, warm talk, and raisin. I'm gonna take these out, I'm gonna swatch them for you individually so you can see what they look like on my hand. Just zooming in, these are what the pencils look like. I love the shape of these. These are like more of like a, how do you say it? Like a rectangle square. So they're basically not your normal circle liners. So they won't roll when you put them in your drawer. This is what the colors look like. Um, I know I probably won't be able to use these, but I think these will be, some of these will be nice all over the lip. But now I've taken them out of the box, some of them look a bit darker like this one. Which one? This one here looks a bit too red, but let me swatch them for you so you guys. Okay, so we have raisin. So that's raisin there. This is like, Raisin actually looks like raisin. It's basically like a terracotta red. So that's raisin. Mmm, would I use a sh I put, mm, this would look nice all over the lip for like a, a nice nude moment. Then we have deep top. So that's deep top. I probably wouldn't to use that, but deep top would probably look nice again if I was to wear just lip liners, but that's kind of like a nice nude. That's deep top, so mm, child, I'm not sure about that actually. And then we have cool brown. Ooh, cool brown. This would be a nice mixer. So you know something you mix it with another liner. Cool brown is such a nice colour. Um I was watching my lips to you, but oh, child. Um so that's deep what's this called? That's cool brown. Then we have chai. Ooh, chai is really nice. So that's chai there. Chai is kind of like a ready tone, even though I don't really like light tones like this. I think it's so, so nice. Ooh, chai is a nice color. Ch chai is the kind of color I'll do all over the lip. Then we have warm top. 
Okay, warm talk isn't warm at all. Not warm on me anyway. So warm is definitely kind of giving me pinky nude vibes. So, hmm, from the box, I would have thought they would have been a bit more darker. So I could probably use maybe, mm, out of these actually, I only like the cool brown color. But they are nice though, the, the pigmentation is very much there. We have the last one, which I think is gonna be the main star of the show, and this is called Molt. It's called Molt, Molt? Yeah, Molt. And this is the one Norvina did say is gonna look amazing on deeper skin tones. So let me swatch Molt as the last one. Yeah, Molt is definitely gonna be the star of the show. So that's Molt there. So Molt is definitely giving me much, it's definitely a brown liner, it's not too red, and it's definitely that true, true brown. Out of all of them, I'll probably just use Malt, which that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm probably just gonna use Malt, which is, I just love a brown liner. You guys know I love the Victoria Beckham 06. I love Trendsetter, I love Chestnut. So the other liners are cute. Um, hold on. Yeah, the other liners are cute, but let's just use Malt today so we can test the lips out. Okay, we're gonna put Malt on so we can see the formula. Oh, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Okay, okay. I like the color. I'm gonna press down a bit harder. Okay. Love the color so far. Malt is that one. If you if you don't want to buy all the liners, definitely just get malt. If you are my skin tone, of course. But there's so many colors. I feel cool brown would also look really nice. On a lighter skin tone. Okay, so it's lipstick time. We're gonna go with one of the first lipsticks. So this is the packaging it comes in. I think this is kind of like, I'm, I'm not sure, did I try the other? I've never tried the other Anastasia, yes I have. I tried the other Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick. This is the packaging it comes in, really, really cute. And this is the bullet. You know what bullets reminds me of? You guys are gonna guess straight away. Um, where, is it? where is it? Oh my God, I can't find it. Oh, so it reminds me of the Gucci one. Do you not think, they're very similar. It's, oh my God, they're basically the same. What in the Gucci is going on? But obviously Anastasia's rose gold, but it's very similar to the Gucci one. Oh wow, okay. Anyway, so this is the color in soft brown. This is a satin lipstick. This is what it looks like here. Very, very cute. I'm not gonna swatch it on my hand, I'm just gonna put it on the lips. Okay, ooh. 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 I'll apply a bit more. I don't want to drag too, I'm very heavy handed. Okay. I really, really like this shade. This is more of like a natural nude again. This is more of like a um, satin, but I really like this shade. Oh, this would be an amazing everyday lipstick. Hmm, I'm not sure if I like it. I probably want to powder this a bit more though. Like the satins are very comfortable and no, I do like it. I, I am a matte person though, but I love, love this. Okay, so I've just put on a um, malt lip liner again. I do love this liner. It reminds me of something now. I'm not sure it reminds me of it. It kind of reminds me of, I love the formula of it though, because it feels like really just, you know when you're something for a liner, you just, you got it that you can feel it coming off. This seems really, really solid, but yeah. Um, okay, so there's rum punch. This is a matte. So I thought, let's just do a matte, see how punchy the mats are, because apparently you put them on and then they're this set. So this is rum punch. This looks interesting. I feel like now with my lighting, I can, I can proper like see the light. So I'm just like, not like this shade, but I'll try. Oh my God. Uh, hmm. I don't hate the color, but I wouldn't wear this color. Mm. I thought they mix it with something else, but it looks nice though. The mattes are so comfortable. Like it feels like I've got nothing on the lips. Like, like the stuff, it doesn't even feel matte. Hmm. That's what it looks like. Yeah, I wouldn't normally go for a color like this. It's nice, but again, it does look like rum punch. Um, probably my least favorite color, but it looks nice on me, but I wouldn't wear this on a day-to-day -day basis, child. Okay, so the next one is called Toffee. So far, I like the colors and I really like the formulation. I feel Anastasia has definitely like, and I do think this year is gonna be the year of lips because Hollow Beauty has just announced 
she's redoing her whole liquid lipstick um, formula, which I think her formula was amazing, but apparently this is supposed to be like top tier. Yes, this one's called Toffee. Let me show it to you, that's what it looks like. It's kind of giving me mm, Gucci Mona, Mona Lisa cameo vibes. Let's try this one because so far that, that hasn't been a color that's been like bad bitch material. Like that is my color. So okay, let's try this one. Okay. So this is Toffee. I really, really like Toffee. <laughs> okay, so Toffee is probably like my favorite, the, the, the most favorite out of the bunch that I've tried so far. If Toffee was one hair lighter, this would be my everyday. It reminds me of Mona Lisa Cameo by Gucci, which wasn't the one I just showed you. No, I don't like that. But it reminds me of that, but it, it's more of a warmer tone. But so far, this color is my favorite and this is called Toffee. Okay, this one, oh, oh, the, oh the, all the others I've chosen are satin, so I'm like, hmm, maybe I, think I need to look at this any more massive like. So this is called Warm Peach. This looks like yarn from Natasha Denona. Okay, let's try this one. Oh wow, this is light. This is very light. Wow. Nope. Oh no, I feel like I haven't like, I feel like Toffee's the only one I'm really like, kind of like connected with. I feel like the others like, I feel like maybe it was too early when I opened the package because I drunk because what's going on? But I like, oh, okay, let's try the next one. This one is called Rose Brown. Looks like this. Oh, this looks beautiful. This again is a, um, what's it, a satin? A satin, yeah. I like this shade. I like this shade a lot. Okay, I like this shade a lot, but I think it's very similar to the other one I tried at the start. But this is a beautiful shade, and I feel like the um, satins with the liner just blend so perfectly. Obviously, you can go in with a bit more liner to define it, but yeah, this is a really nice shade. I wish it was matte though. No! Okay, so the next one, but well, this is the last one I chose in the bunch. But I might go back and check if there's any more mattes. And this is called Peach Amber, which looks like this. I have high hopes for this one because it looks really nice. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so this is Peach Amber. Again, a nice shade. I think I have something very similar to this, but the obvious, honestly, guys, the satins feel so like moisturizing and so creamy on the lips. But I just wish I don't know. Wish I was more matte. I'm gonna check, guys. I'm gonna go and check if there's any more matte. But don't get it twisted. The lipsticks are beautiful, but you know I'm more of like a matte person. But the liner is going with every lipstick, which is perfect. I think the Ace the Brown liner, but let me just go and check if there's any. So I went to go and check back if there's any like any other colors I wanted to try that I think I potentially would buy. But a lot of the mattes that were left were kind of like reds, um, deep kind of berries, which you guys may truly go and like. And I really would suggest you guys swatch these in person because looking on trend mood, I was like, they look kind of different, but I think everything always looks different once it's photographed, especially makeup because you have flash, obviously color, color graded saturation. This one is called Butterscotch. I want to try it just because. I just want to try it. Let's just try it. So in the packaging, this was gonna give me like more of like a nude, but no, 
No. Okay, so we're back. Um, that was interesting, but what I will say is, my favorite thing is probably the liners. I'm really excited to try the other ones. I know most is probably the deepest that I couldn't use to define my lips, but for filling out and like using the liners, I'm interested to use the other ones and how they would be. And that's what they look like, again, just for reference. But for all my darker skinned ladies and boys, I'll definitely just go for Multi if you just want like a brown liner. This is Toffee. Toffee is definitely my favorite lipstick out of all of them. So again, so soft brown, which was this one. Um, again, um, Peach Amber was really nice as well. Um, Rose Brown, that was really nice. That was really, really natural, a really nice nude. Um, again, we have Rum Punch. I actually really like Rum Punch. It's not a color I'd normally wear, but it's really beautiful. And again, I think it'll be really nice to mix in with. Cause don't, so don't, don't forget, you can always mix these lips together. And again, Toppy is the one that I'm wearing. Let me guys know what you think about these lipsticks down in the comments down below. Let me guys click like know like what kind of colors you would go for. Again, um, this is probably like my favorite one, which I'd probably wear every single day. I know a lot of people, you well, you guys probably like reds, oranges, pinks, and it is a, it's a wide range of colors. So let me guys know in the comments. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you tomorrow for Sip and Slay. Bye guys.